Hello, my name is Kevin Oliveira. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager at Forcepoint for our data security solutions, which includes our data loss prevention products. And uh, we're really excited about some new features that are coming out now in uh, Q4 of 2021 uh, that we're launching. Uh, one of them is around um, our ability to um, see more clearly into Office 365. Um, overall, what we're doing, um, actually, I want to introduce also uh, Mattia Maggioli. He will be speaking as well. Um, Mattia, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, my name is Mattia Maggioli, and I lead the, the technical marketing here at Forcepoint. Great. Thanks, Mattia. So um, what's happening with the uh, this launch um, we're um, able to, to come out with more features, which strengthens um, this uh, uh, objective that we have for our DLP for being everywhere. We want to be where more, more places where people work and where data resides. And um, we feel that's what makes for a very strong DLP uh, solution for our customers. Uh, it actually, in, it simplifies deployment when we're able to be in more places and more, more places where they, the data resides, uh, actually where people work. And uh, it makes for a more effective um, uh, uh, data security solution. Um, today, we're focusing on uh, this one here in the middle, Office 365 granularity. It's where data resides. Uh, that's the, the focus and uh, data at rest and data in motion. Um, the thing that's really interesting with Office 365, it's, um, it's, it's really addressing this whole uh, again, this whole area of how do we get visibility and control into all of our data, you know, wherever that data resides. And Office 365 has grown uh, dramatically over the last five, you know, five, six years it's, uh, as far as a, um, a place where our data is residing. Um, there's over um, 315 million paid seats, according to Microsoft, for Office 365. 250 million are in Teams alone. And team has had just enormous growth. And there's a lot of different things that can be done in team and where, where data can be, um, uh, uh, data could reside, it could be in motion, and we want to have visibility into that. There's also a very strong adoption of SharePoint and OneDrive. And um, so uh, again, how, is, how can we more effectively um, be able to provide for our customers for DLP to be able to have that, that visibility and control throughout that whole area and be able to have granular control so we, we, aren't, we can uh, provide the, the right type of control in Teams and in SharePoint and OneDrive that would um, uh, best suit um, their business. So um, I'll go ahead and switch over to Mattia. Thanks, Kevin. So in 8.9, we have extended the uh, cloud application for Office 365, breaking down the different applications that are available and provided by Microsoft as part of the Office 365 offering. So I'm now browsing here uh, in a, a definition of a policy that shows that uh, compared to what we had before, which was a single uh, item for everything Office 365, we now have more granularity which shows that you can uh, tailor a DLP policy to target uh, one or more uh, sub-applications, either Teams, uh, SharePoint, uh, or OneDrive. And these becomes uh, specific uh, applications uh, in the definition of policies for the Cloud API protection provided by DLP. Now, let me show you what's the difference when it comes to uh, the user point of view. Uh, typically organizations adopt Office 365 because they want to avail of the boost in productivity that can, uh, uh, they, they can get out of Office 365, which is uh, sharing files, uh, doing meetings, uh, uh, do business with different people, uh, geographically dispersed uh, and exchange file and contents and whatever they need to make uh, uh, their business happen. But then we need uh, DLP and data security to be able to adapt uh, to the use they do of these tools uh, by making sure productivity is not impacted and still provide the data security. So I have two machines here. Now the first activity is uh, providing a, a file uh, uh, with loads of credit card details over OneDrive and organizations can already configure OneDrive to make uh, sharing and access to files only within the organization itself. So OneDrive is already configured to prevent any sharing to anyone outside of the organization and the file goes through and is shared and uploaded uh, without uh, any impact. Now, the two users are trying to exchange uh, the same file, uh, not 
with OneDrive, but with uh, Teams. Uh, and Teams uh, becomes a problem if external people join a meeting uh, and uh, the files are exchanged over the meeting. So what happens now when uh, uh, they attempt to uh, exchange the file by attaching the file over a Teams uh, conversation? What happens is that uh, our DLP policy kicks in, uh, is now able to uh, understand what is the sub application part of Office 365 where the file has been uh, uh, transferred and the upload of the file won't go through. Now, again, uh, how many meetings uh, have you been having with external people, people that are not part of the organization since COVID kicked in? And how many more meetings will you be having now that we can all work remotely and still uh, work uh, uh, safely from our own location? Ch chances are that uh, during those meetings, you have been uh, uh, exchanging files. I hope they were not uh, confidential or sensitive files, but now you can have, uh, rather than hope, uh, a much better control over those files are exchanged by tailoring policies specific on uh, cloud applications a part of Office 365. Yeah, that's very good. So the, I see that with the big thing it sounds like it's particularly is with like if you're in OneDrive and OneDrive is a place that we want to be applying a particular policy, we may not want that in Teams or in SharePoint. And so we really do need to have that granularity to be able to um, switch because they're very different applications. Office 365 is just a very general, you know, a suite. And um, Teams and SharePoint and OneDrive have different unique needs uh, as far as um, how you interact with people. So it's, um, this is just a tremendous uh, benefit that we'll have this now that uh, we can provide this to customers. They'll be able to do that kind of granular control and visibility. Um, exactly. And this was just an example. Maybe a different organization operates Office 365 in a different way, but now thanks to this extended granularity, uh, the DLP policies can be tailored to suit their needs and not just uh, what they came up for this demo. Real good. Thanks much. That, that, was, that was a great introduction to um, what we're able to do with Office 365. Um, just uh, for um, uh, looking forward, we do have some additional seminars. We do want to um, uh, welcome you to. We have one for uh, cloud email. That's another feature that's coming out this, in, the, in, the, in this quarter. And then also around REST APIs. It's really interesting as far as our ability now to uh, open up some REST APIs for third party tools management and uh, be able to have a, a work from a separate UI and uh, look at incident management and, um, and uh, deal with that and automate it uh, potentially in the future. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm.